Good morning, good morning. Today is Sunday and we're about to head out to church. As you can see through my windows, it's a bright sunny day. So I just wanted to take you on a walk with me across that highway that I need to cross um, to show you I can see from here the glare. I can't even see across the street <laughs> uh, right now. But uh, I wanted to show you how the glare affects me when I cross the street and how my Ambutech mobility cane has been helping me. Um, just an update, I have not been stabbed by this cane uh, since the last video when I was um, traveling on my way to work for the first time, which happened to be my last time. I was terminated on Tuesday of this week. Um, so anyway, um, but I have not been stabbed because I changed my technique and acclimated it for myself to make it easy for me. So now I'm moving and grooving. And when I do hit a crack, I have kind of learned, taught myself, trained myself how to flow with the disruption in traffic on the sidewalk by just flowing with it. You know, if it hits a crack, I just go with it. And Anyway, so um, I'm going to be late. So let's go. Okay, <clears throat> so here we are approaching this corner. I'm really excited about going to church and I'm not so anxious anymore about going to church with my Ambutech mobility cane because it is what it is. This is actually next week will be my last Sunday at Perfecting Faith Church. Um, so please be sure to tune in. You can go on Facebook Live at the Perfecting Faith Church page on Facebook. Or you can live stream like I used to do <laughs> when I had to work. Uh, and go to the website at perfectingfaith.com click on the live stream link and it's just like being there I discovered this magnificent thing that has been here for years <laughs> yesterday <laughs> it helps me cross the street it tells me when it's time to go and it slows down and stops traffic some kind of way but <laughs> I had to laugh at myself because it took me, how many years have I been walking by this thing and hearing it say, wait, wait. So when I decided to press the button at one of the other corners <laughs> and it told me to wait and then it told me which, which direction I was walking and that it was safe to cross. And I was like, oh, praise Jesus for modern technology. Oh my God. <laughs> That motorcycle is, is an accident waiting to happen. Anyway, um, it's pretty bright out here today. Beautiful day. Look at the sun now. When I am looking this way, uh, trying to cross the street, I, I, I could tell you, I don't see a damn thing. Okay, here's the light. This car's is stopping. Okay, I'm going to go right now. <laughs> you know, drivers have been so very nice to me. I've been a naughty native New Yorker not following my brother's suggestion to cross at the green and not in between and um, I've just been in between crossing just being so comfortable with how I'm using the cane now um, that sometimes I do make a mistake or misjudge and a car instead of clonk, clonk at me <laughs> you know because I you know didn't have the cane before now they see the great big <laughs> the great big cane <laughs> And they slow down and they just give a little light tap on the horn boop, <laughs> to let me know go ahead lady I see you well, sometimes you know I'm doing something like looking trying to look at my purse and move at the same time you know I, I'm just uh, anyway and, but they see the cane and they let me go so it's great all right so I'm gonna shut this down now 
and take the walk to Perfected Faith Church with focus so that I don't, <laughs> you know, I need to get there quickly because I'm running late. And once I get close to the church, you'll join me again. And see you soon. Okay, we've gotten pretty close to the church. It's about a 10 to 15 minute walk. I used to live right up the street, right at that corner. Just go there. Uh, four minutes away from the church. Oh my God, those were the best church days I have had since I've been living here. <laughs> anyway, uh, first student school buses. I'm trying to move pretty fast. I'm really excited about going to church this Sunday. I'm excited about going to church every Sunday. I love the fellowship. The people in my church are just amazing. They have this thing, uh, an event during the summer called Church Without Walls. And I had lived here in Freeport for, oh my God, since 2005, passing back and forth in front of this church. And, you know, knowing that the pastor is a celebrity, a gospel celebrity, not caring, um, because I see the, I used to see the people and think they were so snobbish and uppity, um, so, and I was in a stage back then when I was like, there is no God, prove it to me, I've been living all of these years, you know, since I left my past church that I was a member of for 14 years and I've been living all these years and I'm doing well so God God ain't had nothing to do with how I've been living because I have not acknowledged his presence or existence anyway I had one church without walls I was uh, going to a bodega that's across the street from the Western View parking lot where they have the event and um, they were doing a line dance I went in the bodega got what I wanted to get. I happened to have one like a mini dress and some stiletto sandals. And I got, went to the front of the crowd and joined in the line dance. And what impressed me was that not one person looked at me in a funny way. Perfecting Faith Church, where ministry means people. About to go in now, because I'm late. And I'm going on hearing. Woo! You can hear it from out here, can't you? Oh, my soul. I think they're doing sound check now. Bam! I don't really want to show too many people's faces here, so. Good morning, sis. How you doing? <laughs> oh. oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you'd be sorry, baby. church used to be a supermarket. He, I, when I first walked into this church, after my experience at Church Without Walls, I swear I felt like I should be pushing a shopping cart. They still have, take you outside the city, they still have the area where you park the shopping carts when you finish shopping. <laughs> Look. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> this is where you put your shopping carts. <laughs> this is where you put your shopping carts. So anyway, it's a huge church. We have thousands of members. All right, I'm going to take you through. I hope to take you through. Share this few bits and parts of uh, I'm gonna to to it's on the morning to service to with you guys. See you soon. I have to
first time at Perfecting Faith Church, please stand. We want to honor and recognize you. All first time visitors. You've never been here before. I see. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Please continue to stand. The ushers, the ushers are giving you a visitor's card. Please fill those cards in out, out in their entirety. And when we receive our offerings now, and here's more glare from the sun. I'm not at the corner. The cars. Oh, shucks. Oh, gosh, man. I'm going to do this right today. Ah, oh, shoot. Hey. Woo. This is a big, this is the big highway. Oh, God, here we go. Jesus, help me. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm good. I'm in the middle. Oh, God, not really good. I'm not supposed to be doing this. <laughs> But this is my way. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh boy, today today was kind of emotional for me. And um I'm kind of glad that I got a chance to get do a little bit of video and to share with you guys because next week is going to be my last service at Perfecting Faith Church. And I don't know if I could bear to even tape anything. I don't know if I can cross, but guess what? Sounds good. Anyway, thank you for joining me today on my trip to church and a little bit of the trip home. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends who I'm sure will be inspired by the wonderful services that we have. And subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for the next video. Bye!